state government of Uttarakhand constituted two teams of experts to evaluate the risk posed by five hazardous glacial lakes in the state. These lakes are prone to glacial lake outburst floods. The risk assessment exercise aims to minimize the possibility of a GLOF incident and provide more time for relief and evacuation in case of a mishap. Glacial lake outburst floods. Glacial lakes are large water bodies beneath a glacier. Altogether, glacial lakes are formed when the water melting from glaciers accumulates in a low-lying depression. South Long Sikkim As these lakes grow in size, they potentially become more dangerous because glacial lakes are usually dammed by unstable ice or sediment composed of rock and debris. When this blockade breaks, Huge amounts of water rushes down on the slopes of the mountains, causing devastating floods in downstream areas. GLOF can be triggered by several reasons such as earthquakes, very heavy rains, avalanches and landslides. GLOFs can release large volumes of water, sediment and debris downstream at times with high speed. As per some studies, around 15 million people face the risk of sudden and devastating floods from glacial lakes. Rising temperatures due to global warming have heightened the risk of glacial lake bursts, accident which devastated Kedarnath in 2013. Reasons for GLOF Climate change The rising global temperature is a visible consequence of climate change. This warming has led to the accelerated melting of glaciers in various. As glaciers melt, they release water which is accumulated in depressions and glacial lakes are formed and further enlarged due to global warming. Glacier retreat. Due to global warming, glaciers are melting and retreating, leaving behind the depressions. These depressions are filled with melted water of glaciers, forming glacial lakes. High vulnerability quotient. The embankments of these lakes consist of loose deposits of glacier moraine, rocks, boulders, soil and ice. Since these embankments are not properly compacted, they have a high vulnerability quotient. Avalanche or landslide. Avalanches or landslides can disturb the damming, causing its weakening or collapse. Earthquakes. Seismic activity can trigger GLOF by weakening or collapsing the damming. Anthropogenic activities. Activities such as mining, construction or deforestation. Nearby, the glacial lakes can destabilize the natural barriers and increase the risk of a GLOF. Impacts of GLOF. Loss of life and property. Disruption of livelihoods, infrastructural and environmental destruction. India's vulnerability to GLOF. Glacial Lake Atlas, Israel's National Remote Sensing Center, released a glacial lake atlas for the Himalayan river basins. The atlas identified over 28,000 glacial lakes, larger than 0.25 hectares. Sikkim SDMA identified more than 300 glacial lakes in Sikkim, 10 out of 300 have been classified as vulnerable to GLOF. Uttarakhand's it was found by GSI that 13 glacial lakes out of the 486 glacial lakes in Uttarakhand are vulnerable to GLOF. Jammu and Kashmir A 2021 study reported that Jammu or Kashmir has the highest number of glacial lakes vulnerable to GLOF. Jammu or Kashmir followed by Arunachal Pradesh and Sikkim. This indicates that the threat of GLOF is not limited to a single region, but is widespread in the Himalayan region. Uttarakhand Situation Uttarakhand witnessed two major glacial lake outburst floods in the 2013 and 2021. First, in June 2013, glacial lake outburst floods affected large parts of the state. Kedarnath was the worst hit. During second GLOF, in February 2021, Chamoli district was hit by flash floods. As mentioned, Uttarakhand has 13 glacial lakes prone to GLOF. Based on the analysis, these lakes have been categorized into three risk levels, A, B, and C. The rising temperatures due to global warming could worsen the situation in Uttarakhand state's annual average maximum temperature may increase by 1.6 to 1.9 degrees Celsius between 2021 to 2050. As per a study conducted in 2021 jointly by Germany-based PIK and the Energy and Resources Institute, this rise in temperature could heighten the risk of GLOF in Uttarakhand